Jamaica's battle with corruption. Corruption is a major problem in Jamaica and it has a number of negative consequences for the country. In this video we'll discuss the history of corruption in Jamaica, the negative consequences of corruption and what can be done to fight corruption. History of corruption in Jamaica. Jamaica has a long history of corruption, dating back to its colonial days. The country has been ranked as one of the most corrupt in the world by Transparency International and corruption is seen as a major obstacle to development. There are many forms of corruption in Jamaica, including bribery, extortion, nepotism and cronyism. Corruption can be found in all levels of government, from the police force to the judiciary. It also exists in the private sector, with businesses often paying bribes to get contracts or avoid regulations. Negative Consequences of Corruption Corruption has a number of negative consequences for Jamaica. It undermines the rule of law, reduce economic growth and increase poverty. It also contributes to crime and violence. Undermines the rule of law. Corruption undermines the rule of law by creating a system where those with money and power can get away with breaking the law. This can lead to a breakdown in public trust and a rise in crime. Reduce economic growth. Corruption can reduce economic growth by discouraging investment and trade. Businesses are less likely to invest in the countries where there is a high level of corruption, as they are worried about losing money to bribes or other forms of corruption. Increase poverty. Corruption can increase poverty by diverting resources away from the poor and towards the wealthy. When government officials are corrupt, they often use their power to enrich themselves and their friends, rather than helping the poor. Contributes to crime and violence. Corruption can contribute to crime and violence by creating a climate of impunity. When people believe that they can get away with breaking the law, they are more likely to do so. This can lead to an increase in crime and violence. What can be done to fight corruption? The Jamaican government has taken some steps to fight corruption, but these efforts have been largely unsuccessful. The country needs to implement a comprehensive anti-corruption strategy that includes measures to strengthen the rule of law, improve transparency and accountability and increase public awareness of corruption. Here are some of the things that can be done to fight corruption in Jamaica. Strengthen the rule of law. The Jamaican government needs to strengthen the rule of law by ensuring that all laws are enforced equally and that there is no impunity for corrupt officials. This can be done by increasing the resources of the judiciary and law enforcement agencies and by passing laws that make it easier to prosecute corrupt officials. Improve transparency and accountability. The Jamaican government needs to improve transparency and accountability by making government records more accessible to the public and by increasing the oversight of government activities. This can be done by creating a Freedom of Information Act and by establishing an independent anti-corruption commission. Increase public awareness of corruption. The Jamaican government needs to increase public awareness of corruption by educating the public about the cost of corruption and how they can help to fight it. This can be done through public awareness campaigns and by teaching about corruption in schools. Fighting corruption is a complex and challenging task, but it is essential for Jamaica's development. By taking the steps outlined above, Jamaica can make progress in its fight against corruption and create a more just and prosperous society. This is not my personal views, do your own research. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. We learn together.